Ting. Yeah. Hey there, guys. Today, uh, I say guys too much. There are 24% of you that are female that do watch my videos, so that's going to change. Now it's going to be, hey there, YouTube population, or YouTube civilization, or YouTube condensation. Precipitation. So, now that that's going to change, uh, I'm going to show you the tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to uh, mod your iPhone or iPod, any iDevice that has a GUI like that. Um, so you get custom icons. Now, note, of course, you can do this through Cydia, but this is making your own icons um, and making your own... The lighter was invented before the match theme completely. So simply open up Safari and go to codethemed.com. After you're at codethemed.com, uh, you can create an account if you want. It's completely free. Or you can just click build a theme now. So I'm going to do that. After you come to the main build a theme screens, do what it says. Majority of suicides occur on Monday. And that would be to slide to unlock. So I'm going to do that. Now go to the left hand side of the screen where you see all these file folders here. Click phone. You're brought to a multitude of different phone icons at which you can drag and put it over another icon. Click back and do this until you're pleased. I'm just giving you a heads up right now. Coca-Cola was originally green. I'm just giving you a heads up right now that the messaging app on iOS 4 will not work uh, with a changed icon. It will still be the same after you're finished. Um, so do that until you're happy. And uh, now pass over to the right side of the screen where you can choose wallpapers. I like this one to be my uh, home screen. Nice. Uh, let's try another one. I like this one. Filmatology is the science of kissing. Alright. So that's now my home screen, and I want this one as my lock screen. So double click, lock screen. Now we're going to go to the uh, opposite side. We're making a Z shape here along with what we're doing. We're going to go to the docks. I like the wooden docks, so double click it. Nice. It doesn't really suit the theme. I like this one. All right, that looks a lot better. And now we're going to continue this Z, and we're going to go to the icons. You can change the font that they're in. You can change the transparency if they're even there. So all those icon labels, you can choose if they're there or not. You can choose the color of the labels. If I want, like, I can go with red, red, or black. But black looks weird. Blueberry juice boosts your memory. And uh, the color blue is here now. All right, so I'm just going to go with white because white's generic, and no, I'm not racist. Um, icon transparency, you can also icon transparency, you can also set, or you can click slider, and you can change the slider button or the slider text. Another heads up: the slider button is unchangeable on iOS 4, but you can still change the text. So instead of slide to unlock, you can have slide me because that works, or slide, or shut down, for power off, shut down, etc, etc, etc. For slide to answer, I have who's there, I have who's there, and more of this feature is coming very soon. So I'm going to go ahead and say power off so we can see this, shut down, call me, who's there, and lock device, slide me. So once you're satisfied and done, you can hit Save Changes or Download Theme. I'm going to download the theme, and it's going to build the theme. If you keep a goldfish in the dark, it will eventually turn white. And you can download the theme as a zip file. So simply click that, and it will go to your downloads. So now I'm going to go to my download stack. Go to my download stack. Drag this to the desktop, or do that. And here you can see your entire theme and how it's been bundled. So in bundles we get the uh, just the, all the all the core settings needed. Now you're probably wondering how do I get all these icons etc onto my device? Well, it's really really simple. Name the theme like you want. So go into the download. Oh my god, it's Coursera! So go into the download stack and change the theme name to whatever you want. Whatever. Okay. Now, to put this on your device, you can either use CyberDuck or go download the application Fugu. It's not in my applications. Fugu. Okay? It's a, it's a fat fish. 
open it up and it gives you this screen where you can connect. So find the IP address of your device. To do that, go to settings, then network. Uh, once you see your network names, or sorry, settings, then Wi-Fi. When you see Wi-Fi, tap the little blue arrow and look for IP address. Or if you have Bonjour and you're on the same network, simply click, uh, well, for the one time. Bonjour is French. For the one time, it doesn't show up. Well, I know my IP address, 192.168.1.12. The username is ROOT, root, and the port is 22. Hit enter. It will connect. And the password is Alpine, A L P I N E. Authenticate. Now you're inside the iPod. Click a root and then click the slash. And it will take you to the main center of your iPod. Click library or double click library and then go to themes. Now you're in your themes. Simply drag whatever into themes. Now that it's in themes, really, you're done. Close out, go to your iPod, hit home, and now all you need to do is go into Winterboard. Uh, that's downloadable from Cydia, Winterboard. Go to select themes and find whatever. I select whatever and close out. It's going to respring here. It's respringing. Now it says slide me. Slide it did. We also see that the phone symbol has changed. It's so, an iPhone 4. So that is how to do that, and it works flawlessly. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Check out Code Themed. If you like this video, make sure to like and or subscribe, and comment in... Definitely comment, because, you know, comments are good. This is John Nassett. He has or been our, how to, Apple. He has been our fun facts for today. Thank you for watching.